Hey guys, I made a video last night on the Davis Traction Control VPS and I talked about how you can, you know, program your Holly EFI to do certain things based off of the data that comes into it. Uh, so I figured I would show you. So what we got here is I've got a pitch roll and yaw on here and uh my video that i made last night kind of goes into what all three of those things are and why they're important to be monitored and then what else i've got here is a precision performance products shifter it's an air shifter and then from motion raceworks it's kind of hard to see but i got a convertible so it's a little easier uh the shoot release so this is a pneumatic shoot release from uh, Doug Cook at Motion Raceworks, and it comes with a Mac valve and you know some plumbing and whatnot. And this will kick your shoot out for you uh, if you want to program it to a button or based off of a parameter in the ECU. So I figured I'd show everybody how I go about doing this. So what you'll do uh, for any device that you want to use maybe it's an air launcher or a shifter or a you know parachute handle what you do is uh, find your inputs and outputs tab all right it's right there and then go to outputs sorry i'm filming this by myself so bear with me here anyway the top one is shoot release configure and Right now I've got it set with no switched input triggers. So a switched input trigger would be um, any type of an input that you're sending to it. So trans brake launch enabled, uh, any of, you know, anything that's a switched input. Um, the, what we're using is a sensor input and the Davis uh, VPS sends out five analog signals to the ECU. So it's a sensor and well, it's actually multiple sensors in one. And we are going to use yaw because uh, y'all, you're, y'all are going to hit the wall. Uh, so if the car starts getting out of control, it's, it's got y'all to it. So watch my other video and that'll explain that. So I just did this strictly for testing in my garage. But uh, typically what we would do is we would add an additional <clears throat> input and say we do uh, boost time. So it doesn't kick the shoot out in the burnout box and uh, make you look stupid. Or we could do uh, drive shaft speed or we can do engine RPM as an additional uh, quantifier to make this thing actually work. So or qualifier. So <clears throat> uh, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you live view. Here's y'all. And we've got it set to anything over two degrees or under two degrees, because remember we're measuring both directions. But you'll see uh, what I did was I put a timer in in the background. So it has to be above, I forgot to show you that. Anyway, it has to be above, the shoot release has to be above for 0.25 seconds. So we don't see you know, some false data or whatever, because this thing reacts really fast. So for a quarter of a second, it's got to be over two degrees of y'all. And well, why didn't it work? Well, I wired this car to have a master enable for making a pass. So we turn that on. And you heard it. Now I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to show you it move. I've got this thing on shop air right now, so it's kind of low pressure. It's only like 60 pounds. So there's the chute release. I've got the shifter just for testing purposes set up uh, based off of pitch. Oh, hang on. Hold on here. <clears throat> I think I disabled it. Do to do, I did. So what we'll do, this is good though. Well, everybody will get to see this. Shifter, 
enabled VPS pitches above two degrees. My timer is for one second. So let's get rid of the timer. It's active for uh, half of a second. So we don't want to keep kicking the, um, the air through it for no reason. And there you go. So that's how timers work in your outputs. Uh, if you can tell you set them for too long and they don't work because pitch will, if it's not continuing to pitch, it returns back to zero. See? So you can hear the solenoid going. So if you get a little bit uh, too much yee-yee and your yaw goes uh, a little overboard, and um, let this thing save your ass. So that's all I got. See you.